the final mission, STS-135, Chris Ferguson commanding, it felt in the control room like any other launch. First of all, I didn't want to think about it being the last one. Um, but I didn't want anybody else to think that, uh, you know, it's the last one, we have to do something different. We, we, we had to do it the same way because it had been working so well for us. We had an issue with the, with the gaseous oxygen vent arm, and we held the clock at T-minus 31 seconds which was always exciting, regardless whether it was first launch or, or not. We worked our way through that problem and picked up and launched. And, you know, saying goodbye to Chris, as I, as I did on the net, and, and then his words back to us and the launch team and, and really to the whole program, it, it, that was pretty special. Okay, Fergie, uh, we're starting to feel pretty good down here on the ground about this one today. So on behalf of the greatest team in the world, uh, good luck to you and your crew on the final flight of this true American icon. And so for the final time, Fergie, Doug, Sandy and Rex, good luck, Godspeed, and have a little fun up there. Hey, thanks to you and your team, Mike. Until the very end, you all made it look easy. The shuttle's always going to be a reflection of what a great nation can do when it dares to be bold and commits to follow through. We're not ending the journey today, Mike. We're completing a chapter of a journey that will never end. You and the thousands of men and women who gave their hearts, souls, and their lives for the cause of exploration have rewritten history. Let's light this fire one more time, Mike, and witness this great nation at its best. The crew of Atlantis is ready for launch. This wasn't an end. This was the, uh, you know, the final, final mission in this step of the, of the process to explore the heavens. Afterwards, it was a different story. I'm an introvert. I never wanted to go out and, and uh, really interact with the, with the team that much. That, that sounds very weird. I know that sounds strange. But that day I went through the control room and I shook everybody's hand. And uh, a lot of hugs and a lot of tears. And um, because it was, a, it was the final launch. And I knew that a lot of my friends were going to get laid off. That was tough. But the mission went fine. The landing went fine. We celebrated on the runway, which is one part of my job. I, I think that was the best part of my job, was landing day, going out on the runway, greeting the astronauts as they got off the vehicle walking under the shuttle and still feeling the heat come off the tiles. And of, of all the things I did in my career, I think walking under the orbiter on landing day was my favorite. Very, very special. I'm Mike Leinbach, and that's one of my previously untold stories from the Rocket Ranch.